Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley. Today I am going to do an unboxing of a diamond painting from Victoria's Moon. They did send me a second canvas since my other landscape one had some issues. Um, basically, uh, the landscape, whenever they printed it and enlarged it, it cut part of the landscape off. So she said instead of doing that one, I can do this one for her. Um, so this one is a 60 by 85, I think. Um, gonna go ahead and open it. I took it out of the black paper already. Hopefully, you will be able to see it here on my table. If not, I'll pause and lift the, the computer because I'm doing it on my computer. Um, because my phone doesn't like to stay on all the time. So here's the kit. The box did not come beat up at all. So let's see. It came with two regular toolkits with some nine placers. It came with a orange wax pen with the uh, skinny tip and the colors are kind of stuck in the middle so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to unroll it I'm going to try to get it as flat as I can to where I can at least show you the image and the the key and some of the the drill field and then I'm gonna let it sit and not mess with it and let it get flat for a couple weeks maybe we like two weeks or so and then I'm gonna come back to it and refilm another video and show you what it looks like flattened and give you more of a in-depth review on it but today I'm gonna show you the drill field and The, uh, the picture. So these are the the drills. I'll uh, show you more in detail about that in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of bring it over here off to the side. And I'm going to kind of go like this. And someone told me if I go like this, it will help flatten it as I go. So I'm going to try that because I had a heck of a time the last time. Most of y'all may know I am still trying to get used to the thought of a big diamond painting. So it does look like it has some like bubbles in it, but I think I can just run the pink pin along it and I think it'll fix it. So it's super sticky, so that's a good sign. I think I'm gonna try to work with just the big piece right now and see how that goes. Because most of the image is in the center anyway, and it is from the bottom right now. So I don't know if you can see that. Kind of. My light's kind of in the way. Let me see if I turn it off. Kind of. This is the land, and then it's the rest of the image is right here. So let me turn that back on just so I can see for a second. As most of you know, I've been really into cactus lately. So, so far this looks great. The colors are beautiful. Other than a few bumps and stuff, I think it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and put this side of the adhesive sheet cover back down and flatten it a little bit. Then I'm going to turn it around and go from the other side, from the top. Just a sec. So 
again, I'm going to try to work with the bigger part of the adhesive. I'm going to set this behind it for a second. The drill field looks really clear. The only thing I don't like about the, the multiple pieces of cover is it sometimes will rip or overlap. But it seems to be okay for now. It's super sticky. But... Oh, that's beautiful. And then there's the sun right here and then the, the top of the cactus. So I'm gonna try to bring that down. i show you that. So that definitely looks like a great image and it looks like the colors it should be. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down and then I'm gonna try to show you the key. You'll have to bear with me, I am short. And it is a 60 by 80, not 85. I apologize for that. Or I stuck here. Don't want that on the adhesive. So I'm gonna kind of try to go like this and show you the key. So here's the key. Whole bunch of different numbers and symbols. And then here's the picture. What it's gonna be like. So I really like it. I'm really hopeful about it. Um, I know that there's been a lot of mixed reviews, a lot of issues, but they seem to hopefully be redeeming themselves. Um, they have been listening to people's uh, reviews. So I guess all we can do is wait and see. And as long as we get a good painting, I'm trying to cover this gap. Like I said, that's the only problem with adhesive. Like this. And line it up. There we go. Much better. So I would say that this is a much better experience than the last. Definitely not as big. I'm glad that didn't get that big one again. Um, I think this is gonna be beautiful. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna flip this over. And like I said, I'm gonna let it relax and then I'm gonna try to work on it in a couple weeks and go from there. So quick crinkle alert since some people don't like it. These are the weighed bags, so I have a little runaway. There's some pretty browns here. Lots of different like uh, land colors. I'm not gonna like bore you by going through every single one. I'm just gonna kind of show you some of the different shades of like the reds, the maroons, stuff like that. So here's some different colored like brick ones. There's that red, there's some brown. We have like three different like orangey yellow colors. It is a round. And we have like some different colored greens. It's probably hard to see also because I have this on because it's nighttime. So when I record again, I'll make sure to do it during the day. We have some mint colors. We have some like 
pale green. We got some pretty greens, some teal, that's teal, turquoise, like hunter green, green, and another kind of green. Uh, this bag is the one that was open, so hopefully I didn't spill that everywhere. Good to know. I think I caught most of them before they fell out. So there's that one. Hopefully we won't be short. That one's 890. Then we have a bunch of 3865, 760, pretty peach. We got some more reds. Sorry. More reds, some pinks. Bunch of blue. There's a purple. There's different blues. And then we have, this is the 310, so there's not a lot of 310. And then we have some gray and like the royal purple. And this bag was also open, so I'm glad I caught that before that spilled. The only downfall about Ziplocs. So that was my first impression of opening this one. I definitely like this image and canvas better. It doesn't have any like horrible spots in it. From what I saw, I did look on both sides after peeling it up. The only issue that I saw was that one bubble at the bottom when I first opened it. And like I said, I think it's fixable. Uh, Pretty sure I could still see all the the drills on it and everything, but let me double check. Yeah. And that's because it was like bubbled right there. So that, I don't know if you can see it, but right here, there's like a bubble. But I think it's just separated a little bit. I could still see the symbols and I think I can just run the, like I said, the diamond painting pin across it and it'll be fine. So that is my review for this first impression. Like I said, I'm going to let it relax and kind of get used to being flat. And then in a couple weeks, I'm going to start it and kit it and all that good stuff and I will come back and record it again and let you know what it looks like. I'll have it on my easel where you can see it better. So all that good stuff. Thank you for watching. Please leave some comments down below if you would like to hear from me. I love to reply to your comments. I really appreciate it when you do comment. Please hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And I will try to link the video, I mean not the video, I'm sorry, the link for their website down below. And if I can get a code for a discount, I will also put that in there if you would like to try them. No pressure. Um, also, if you are new here, thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a video. I greatly appreciate it. Y'all have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye, guys.